Ow. Again, stop. Are you kidding me with that? Oh, come now, game. You're making me look bad. Making me... I made the... I didn't die to her yesterday. I made the comment I didn't want to die to bosses today, and here we are. God, you're making me look so bad. Hmm. Alright, what's up guys, this is Alec the Lost Knight, and welcome back to some more Dark Souls. We're doing a Make Dark Souls Easy run. I'm doing a very, uh, it's a glass cannon build, it's very high DPS, very low health, and uh, we're probably four or five, let's see, we got Pinwheel, Moonlight Butterfly, uh, Taurus, Demon, the other one's Capra, oh that's right, so Taurus, Demon, and then uh, Gargoyle, so we've done four bosses outside the tutorial. About to hit up Capra Demon and Gaping Dragon and all that good stuff and head down into the depths. So, yeah. Let's do this. So if you notice, I'm at a point with my build where I probably should be much later in the game. Um, but I'm here because, of course I am. As, as again, if you haven't watched part one, uh, I did a bunch of... Well, I already mentioned, I did... Pinwheel and Moonlight uh, Butterfly first. Got all that boost to my souls and things. Um, and so we're somewhat overpowered now for most of the beginning of the game. Um, and really we're going to... The, the goal is to continue being overpowered. Um, I will always be low health because I'm not going to touch health ever again. I'm just going to stay at 10. But the intent is to have enough damage output to not care. Uh, as you can see with these guys, they die in one hit. So, hello, you blocked it. Pardon you. And so, it, it's really somewhat easy. Like I said, this is, this is my goal to show people like my buddy Nick and others that Dark Souls is not always the most difficult thing in the world and it's actually a lot of fun if you know what you're doing and can set up a pretty good build um obviously this takes a lot of skill and effort and practice and, and hours of gameplay so i've beaten this game many times pardon you back there but uh it's definitely doable definitely definitely doable and as i had mentioned there's no dragon here because i never triggered the um cutscene that spawns him in and so without that, he just uh, isn't here. So that's that's a neat little trick. Um, the only reason why you really want him here is if you want to kill him, which is a whole drawn-out process, or if you want the Drake Sword, which I don't care about at all. Drake Sword is good early game because it has high damage, but it's slow and it doesn't have any good scaling. And I've already got close to 40 dexterity. I'm, not, I'm real close to another level. I might go ahead and bust that out real quick if I can, get enough off these guys. What do they each? 72? I can get that pretty quick. That guy got me in the face with that. Impolite. Right, let me get this level real quick. It, it, I'm very... Every time I get enough souls for a level, I spend it. I'm very focused on getting as many levels early as I can. Um, I don't care about armor upgrade, because I don't, I don't care um, until later. I've already got the sword maxed until I get the large ember. And so all we're doing right now is getting more damage output. That's all I care about. More damage output. Yeah, see, we're at 212 right now. So even though, like, the Black Knight Halberd, which was like 245, um, this Falchion is doing almost as much damage just because of the scaling and how many levels we've pumped into Dexterity. And it's only plus 5, and we can get it to plus 15. So it will get much stronger as the game goes. And it's already melting as of right now. So, anyway, we opened the shortcut last time. Let's go ahead and head down to the lower berg and uh, handle all these fun little puppies. One of the few times I use a shield at all. Not even to block, but just to stop their charging attack so I don't get staggered. Because they do a little run and jump at you. I just want to make sure they don't stagger me to where I can't attack them. 
Hey. All right, you. Get back here. Jumpy little dude. Um, there's a dude over there that I could free, but I don't have any reason to. I guess let's do it just to do it, because we have the key. We'll do it just to be nice. I don't really care otherwise. Get the sorcerer set. This is where you get the sorcerer set. You free this guy, and he'll give you a bunch of spells and stuff. So if you're doing a sorcery build, you want to free this guy. You get the key to this by either killing the merchant or you buy the key off of him. So now this is the lower burg. Um, lots of ninjas that... I, I call them ninjas. They're thieves. Bandits. That try to ambush you. But... Um, Alright, game. Come on now. Come on, game. There it is. So they try to ambush you because they're hiding behind these doors, but because uh, the door is open, they're not real thick. And so you can kind of even your odds a little bit by getting them a little bit ahead of time for these guys aren't behind you. That's a little neat little trick, if you will. Um, again, we got some dogs coming, so I'm going to stand here uh, if he'll see me. Doggy. Doggy, doggy, doggy. Doggy. Yep, there he is. Top the charge. Dead. These guys will all pop out. Put them down. They will, like... They're real... See, they're... They have the, the same knife that I started with. Which is very good on bleed damage. You see, it, it took me... Um, pretty low. This is where you get... Not this one, this one. This is where you get the thief set, actually. So now I've got two sets of black leather. That's where you get the thief set normally. But I started with it. Hello, dog. Alright, so this fight, um, not ideal for a low health run, but if we can kill the dogs quickly, Capra is nothing. So let's see if we can get in here and get the dogs done with quickly. The dogs will... Oh, see, that's what I didn't want. They, if they stagger you, you're done for. Um... So that's the not ideal circumstance where I also lost my gold pine resin. But as you know, we are very high damage. We don't need it. Um, but definitely not ideal. Uh, again, yesterday's run, as I'm sure any um, YouTuber or streamer knows, yesterday's run came off with no bugs, no hiccups. I killed that guy first try. And now I'm going to have to do a second attempt because... Um, once you get staggered, you're just you're just sunlocked. I also yesterday I didn't even block. I just ran in and started swinging. So that may have been my folly there, is I was trying to block to kill their charge attack. But once you get staggered, you're just done for. I should have just run in and started swinging like a maniac like this and just mowed them down. You gotta get the dogs. The dogs. That's cap. All right. So Capra, the enemies aren't hard. They're actually normal enemies later on, and they're not difficult. Um, what they do is they put him in a closet and make you fight him along with ads, uh, which is the most, you know, not great way to fight that, that enemy, which is what makes it one of the harder bosses. I, and for those of you that don't know, uh, Capra and Gaping Dragon, this, these, both of these areas are optional. Um, you don't even have to come down here if you didn't want to. You can go through the back way through Blight Town. You can completely skip uh, the depths and, and lower berg and everything. Um, I'm doing an all-bosses run, so I don't want to skip it. Plus, the uh, large ember to upgrade my weapon is in the beginning of the depths. So, you gaping for sure you don't have to kill, but I definitely want to kill Capra. Because I need the key to the depths. Alright, I got both dogs. Now it's just me and him. He's in a, almost, okay. It wiped out my heal, but that's fine. I'll get my stuff back. And now we're on fighting on good terms. I say that. I'll heal real quick. He'll jump. I'm not going to send the healing. But that's fine. Alright, here's another heal. This should get me full. I'll dodge this. Now he dies. I didn't stagger him, which is unfortunate, but he's still dead here momentarily. And easy fight is easy. 
There we go. So not bad. Second attempt. It would have been much faster with the gold pine resin. This is not an ideal run. But we're doing okay. So this guy here, um, he has a little buddy right here to ambush you in the corner. Just gotta tell him no. And then kill that man. We're gonna go, let's see, we're gonna grab this. It is a soul back here, is it twin humanities? I think it is a soul, isn't it? Yeah, good. And uh, this is the key to the depths. We'll open the key to the depths, but we're going to go run back to Firelink, open up the shortcut, get some more levels first. Um, so we should be about at... Oops. What are we at? 37? Okay. We're about to get the large ember. Once we get the large ember, we will run back to um, Bro Bro McGee and get our sword upgraded. Um, I can't believe it is blanked on one of the most iconic Dark Souls characters. Anyway, the blacksmith. Where's the blacksmith? Notice we haven't even been in this area because who cares? I, I, I don't... Normally you would, this is where you come to immediately, but I did not because who cares? This is a couple extra souls we can actually grab right here, which are nigh worthless, but they're still souls, so... Free souls are free souls. Can you just... It's also hard whenever... Because, like, this sword, the way you hold it is angled in such a way that it's hard to attack when you're up against a wall on your right side because it obviously swings from... All right, that was not a plunging attack, dude. Calm down. Um, in such a way that it swings that you hit the wall on the right side if you're not careful. So, again, easy game is easy. Let's go get some more levels. We should be able to get, hopefully, two out of this. So there's the dude we rescued right there. Um, you can get some sorcery stuff from him if you want. I'm not going to do any magic at all. Well, I'd, I'm going to do Pyromancy and, and Miracle. That's what I'm going to do this run. Yeah, okay. And we can pop all these souls we got. We should be able to get one more. Maybe. It'll be close. Oh, yeah, we're going to get there. I say that. It's 6,000. We're not going to get there. Okay. Uh, it'll be close. Oh, I think we got it. We're almost at 40, which is what I what my goal was before. Too much further in the game. So we're, we're basically there. So that's awesome. And now we have this nice little shortcut open. We're back at 20 flasks. Um, pardon me, sir. Would you like to... Thank you. Excuse me, sir. Would you like some more? I'll give you some more. You must die. Alright, I just went a little early. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> Caught that man in mid-air. Mid-jump. Alright. So again, we're making this game real easy. You know, who needs health anyway? Uh, I may die here a couple times. I'm going to try to play a little more carefully than I did yesterday. Yesterday I was kind of going guns blazing and I died several times. Um, there really wasn't any reason for it. I was just trying to do it in a fast way that didn't kill everything. And I'm just going to kill everything today. So, let me run in here and kill things. And uh, see how that goes. This man... Hey, pardon you. Oh, I thought it was going to be closer than that. I expected him to be right on top of me by then. Look, I got all these flasks. Give me the soul. Thanks. Again, free souls are always nice. Get you to the next level. And uh, that's how I'm getting all these sweet levels ahead of time. These fire dudes are really a pain. Let me see if I can... If I can Pull them down here. Oh, come now. So say I can kill them as they fall. But they're doing these little drop attacks on me, which is BS. But, easy enough. Um, normally I wouldn't come down here, but I want to free the uh, 
Pyromancer because I need his Pyromancy glove. Ow. That was a lot longer reach than I expected. It's okay, though. I'll just backstab him. It's actually a her, by the way. These butchers are actually females, so says the developer. Or whatever. So uh, that's an interesting little bit of trivia there for you. Let me save this man. Yes, yes. Alright, cool. So now once we get done with this area, he'll be back at Firelink and we will get the Pyromancy Glove from him, which will allow us to do the Power Within um, Pyromancy. So that'll be super useful. Alright, lots more dogs. Again, the only time I use a shield is just to block the charging attack. Ugh, I, hate, I hate the one-handed attack. I hate it. I just want to two-hand my sword. Oh, come now. One-hand attack is just not good. It's much faster. I know a lot of people like it, but I am much more power stance, two-hand, let's go kind of player. Um, please, dog. Thank you. All right. This man. You broke your table, dude. That was not a correct roll. We're just going to get over here and heal for a second. We're going to backstab you. Good half health for a backstab. And you can really, if you circle strafe, um, you can really link your backstabs a lot of times. Try to get it on that one, but it's okay, he's dead. Got the sack. You can always put the sack on the head if you're, you know, feeling it. Um, I'm not. <laughs> but we got our what we wanted. We got the large um, ember. And so next time we see Andre... That's who he is, Andre, blacksmith. We had upgrade. Roll down here, say hello to our large rat friend, and we're just gonna kill this dude. One hit KO, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I don't, I didn't get a one hit KO yesterday for whatever reason, but I certainly did today, and that's what it's all about. I don't even remember what this is over here. Oh, another soul. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. So, tip, tips and tricks, secret tips, whatever. Um, you hug the wall here. And you slide down past the gap that you'd normally fall into. And then you're right here. Yay. Uh, we'll hit that in a second. I want to get... Um, well, it doesn't matter. It matters not. Frankly. Matters very little. Alright, so let us grab this bonfire. With the key we just picked up. And we're also gonna revert to humans, so I wanna go kill um what's his face? Kirk! Kirk. I like killing the NPC invasions because they, um, I don't use any of the items they drop for this run, but they give you a lot of souls, and a lot of souls equals leveling. So that's always, always nice. Um, I also need to kill the, alright, let's go do this first. I better not die doing this, I'm going to be really upset. Um, so there's the Gaping Dragon. There's a channeler above the boss fight. And if you don't kill him, he will shoot at you. And he has the potential to be to actually buff the boss. Uh, in which case, the boss does an insane amount of damage. And it's super not ideal for anyone involved. So, we're going to kill him. Let's hopefully kill these rats real quick first, because these rats are actually dangerous. See, he's buffing the rats right now. But I think he's at such a way that we can... Oh, can we not cheese him right here? Oh, we sure can. Say goodbye to you, sir. I'm not dealing with your stupid buffed rats. I'm out. Peace. So we get an easy way to deal with that guy. They're not... I could have murdered him. I could have chopped him down. But he just did his little uh, buff dance. 
and it it powers up the rats to where they do in stupid amount of damage. And that would probably one shot me to be honest. Uh, again, low health. Um, I'm not dealing with that. So he's dead. Continue on, and we will get some more. We'll go fight Kirk. Um, make sure he dies. Dies. Bunch more rats over here to kill too. Lots, lots of rats in the sewers. I, I'm sure you wouldn't believe that, but. Yow! Impolite. Pardon you. Rat. There's a rat in this box. There's not. Okay, cool. Alright. I walk about here. And he'll spawn right here. Hello, sir. <laughs> oh, Kirk. Mmm. Tasty. So the goal with this build is just to swing. You just R1 spam until until they're dead. Um, and it's less useful now because I don't have as much endurance... I don't have my very, my very much poise. Um, poise is, is kind of your stagger bar as far as um, getting staggered when you have a heavy armor and stuff. As we get higher endurance, we'll, of course, we'll get um, some of these things, but... Alright. We'll go ahead and buy all of his um, gold pine resin, because gold pine resin, again, is real good. I'm trying to remember. I think I use it against... Uh, Orange seed and Smo, actually, I think, as I want to use Gold Potter as the next. Because after this, we're going to Sin's Fortress. Sin's Fortress is another pain in the ass place, but um, I think I was doing too much yesterday. I'm just going to be easy about it today and not try to be. You can summon in for this, but there's there's super no point. Um, the boss is not hard. You just have to stay out of the way. And uh, I also don't think, I don't think there's any need to do Gold Potter as in here. I think he's pretty resistive to it. I don't remember it being a big help. Did he get hit suddenly or something? That was weird. Anybody else see that? Yeah, I gonna be... See, we do pretty good damage. Uh-huh. When are you gonna do this time, huh, bud? Do the thing, do the thing. Ow. I didn't expect it to actually hit me with that. The face is the weak point if you get him a little snoot right there. But then it'll walk forward, so you gotta be careful. If he, like, touches you while he walks forward, you pretty much just die. So that's a thing. He also has, like, a tail swipe that he can do. But you can also cut off his tail and get a uh, weapon. So that's fun. And it kind of somewhat eliminates his tail smash. His stomp also only uses one foot, which I think is very stupid. Because then you can just smack the other foot. See, like, this attack right here. Here comes a swipe. Okay, I got staggered by it for some reason. I'll go ahead and top off just because. Okay, game. Oh, I guess his arm does hit you. Again, his little snoot right here. Smack him the snoot, he'll walk forward. I say he, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm assuming the gender of this gaping dragon. Probably be easier to assume it's female because it's gaping like a giant fucking vagina, but let's be real here. Bye! Alright. Easy enough. Go ahead and get the hard leather set while we're here. Rain in the souls. Alright. Um, let me think. Where's we, where are we at on our levels? Let's get, let's get this here. And start working on endurance. We want to get endurance to 20. <clears throat> uh, we also need to get back to the blacksmith and give him the ember. But I don't guess we have to before... We'll do it before Sin's Fortress. We'll, let's do that. 
that's on the way. Um, and so up to that point, we'll go ahead and do... We'll get Power Within. We need a Pyromancy Glove, though, which is back in Firelink. If we go all the way to Firelink, we might as well get the weapon upgrade. Alright, let's just... Let's just, uh... I don't want to go out the... I'd rather go down into Blight Town, though. I don't want to go back up into, uh... Alright, let's just, let's just go down to Blight Town. I don't want to go back through the, the depths here. I have no intention of doing so. Let us proceed downward into Blight Town. Um, where I will most likely die, repeatedly, trying to get power within. Because it's a pain to get, to be sure. Um, so also fun stories, I never went this way into Blight Town for probably, I don't know, probably until a couple years ago. Uh, I just never, I think my full playthrough on the channel was the first time I went into, well, on the previous channel, it was the first time I went through the upper area of Blight Town, because I just, there's no, there's two reasons why you go through the upper area. I guess there's three, because there's a shield, which I would never use, but, um, there is the Iato, which is very similar to the Uchi Katana, but a little bit different move set. Um, slightly less damage as well. Um, and then there's also Power Within, which is the best uh, pyromancy in the game. Not that it's an attacking pyromancy, but it buffs, it's like a, pu uh, a damage output increase. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Iato while I'm here. Plus, I wanted to get to this platform anyway, and I'm not sure how best to do it otherwise. Go ahead and grab this bonfire, because like I said, I may die here repeatedly, and I don't want to make this run over and over again. Um, and so we'll uh, see if we can get this. Darn pyromancy, there's so many things guarding it, it's going to be difficult, but we shall see. Ow, pardon you, little nippers. Alright, we'll stop right here and get some health. And continue on down. Kind of want to. I almost want to save him quick, just where stuff stops chasing me. Because I'm sure those guys are still behind me, following me. All right, so this is going to be the. I don't know if I can firebomb this thing or not. I wonder if I can. I genuinely wonder if I can. I don't think I can. Oh, that's toxic. Who, where are you even shooting from there, sir? Where below me are you hitting me with those stupid toxic things? Where? Where? Alright, well, there's that man. That man must die. You must die! Really? Three hits? Okay, dude. Okay. Dude, okay. So this thing's very impolite. It goes into like this little like rage th Oh my god, again with that. Okay, this will work. Alright, pardon you. Get off. Oh dear. What else do I have? Alright, bow time! <laughs> I knew I got this for a reason, right? How do I... There it is. Okay. Is it not getting hurt by it? There it is! Alright, he guards power within. You can actually drop down from a- oh my god, stop, please. You can actually drop down from inside and kill him much easier, but I don't know exactly where that is. And I don't care to find out, to be honest. I just don't care. Um, not right now, anyway. You can just, like, dodge past him and get it, but if he freaks out, because he's right- Let's see, he was right up there. Pardon you! Hey, how about you not do what you're doing? I would greatly appreciate it. Let me just let me just drop down, sir. I'll just I'll be out of your way. Um, 
So yeah, this is the quote-unquote proper front doorway into Blight Town, which is just despicable. Let's be real. Um, but it's okay. It's not the worst. Because now we have power within, and we will actually... I'm actually going to take the time. I'm actually going to run and get... Uh, go ahead and get my Pyromancy Glove on from the Pyromancer because um, I think it's worth having for this fight. Oh dear. Where is my ladder down? Good sir, you point me to the ladder. Good sir. Does this look familiar? This is where I got the uh, falchion from in the very beginning. So which means the ladder's right here or next to me. The torches are at the top of the ladder. I need to remember that. The torches are right where the ladders are. Pardon me. Good sir. Pardon. Pardon. There are some things in this swamp you can pick up as well, but I don't care um, about at all. None of it. None of it matters to me. Who cares? We already killed Manny to Mildred. Um, God, I guess we won't do Power Within yet. Um, we'll just go ahead and get lag and get uh, ceaseless because I have to run all the way back to Firelink and then come all the way back down here and there's just no real reason for that. Um, can we get a level out of this? Do I have enough souls to pop? Probably do. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that got me there. Alright, cool. Always helpful. Alright, let's just go ahead let's just go ahead and kill Quaylag. Let's while we're here we might as well. What's over here? I don't recall. Pardon you. Ah, large soul. Always good to pick up. There are much more. You can go through and get every item. You can get a bunch more souls and stuff. But I just... If it's on the way, I'll grab it. But I'm not here to... Like the last playthrough I did on the channel... I more or less did like a clear the game type where I cleared every area. I tried to get every item. I tried to do like every, you know, enemy. I tried to actually show off the game in its full capacity. Um, this playthrough is, again, it's more for how I play the game. Uh, it's very much catered to the build that I want. I'm only getting items that I need. Um, it's not to showcase the game necessarily because I think most of you have seen it before. I'm just trying to show you it in a different way that, hey, it's, you know, it's it's pretty easy, uh, if you know what you're doing. So, Quaylag may or may not kill me. Um, ooh, do I have... I think Gold Pine Resin would actually help here. I do have Gold Pine Resin. Let's, let's use it. Let's use it. I think it would actually do well here. I'm not going to grab Mildred, because... That's not going to reduce my damage output. I do like to grab her sometimes because she makes a good damage sponge. Um, NPCs that you summon in this game are almost entirely for uh, directing damage. So this boss has a blind spot, which is very interesting. Okay, so when you do that, uh, if you get like right up in her face. She basically just can't hit you. So that's fun. Although she can create a freaking floor of lava, though, that you can just step into. That's cool. So see, like, right here? Okay, she moved and pushed me. But, alright, come out of the lava. Thanks. Ow. Again, stop. Are you kidding me with that? Oh, come now, game. You're making me look bad. Making me, I made the, I didn't die to her yesterday. I made the comment. I didn't want to die to bosses today, and here we are. God, you're making me look so bad. All right. Regardless, let's go do exactly the same thing, except without gold pine resin. I'm not going to waste it. It'll die just slightly slower. Power within would have been. If I die again, I'll go get power within. Well, let's put it that way. Um, and I guess, ideally, too, I could have... I could have started as a Pyromancer. And that may have honestly made... I don't know what the starting levels, though, are. As far as the stats go. That may have made things a little simpler, actually. 
So I would have already had the pyromancy glove and I wouldn't have to go get it from that dude. Um, and I could easily get the Wanderer set and the Black Leather set, Thief set, but I like the Thief's high dexterity starting though, that's what I like. Pardon you, sir. Get out of here. Throwing your rocks. Sticks and stones, baby. So anyway, um, let us continue. Um, again, she has a blind spot where she can't essentially hit you if you stay in it. I kept getting knocked out of it, and she kept doing um, point-blank lava, which was really inconsiderate of her, to be honest. See, like, right here? She just can't can't touch this. I don't think... I don't think we even needed gold pondos, to be honest. I think we're doing just fine. Don't push me in the lava, you slut. Okay, she's gonna explode. I'm dead! Whew! All right, now. All right, she's gonna explode up again. That AOE will one-shot me, just FYI, because I have little to no health. She keeps... I keep getting in the... I, they, they did well. I mean, they programmed her to where I'm in the blind spot, but she keeps, like, moving to where I get out of it. But she's dead, so no worries. Second try is the charm, ladies and gents. Easy. Easy game, easy. Oh, wait, let me get you a... Eh. All right, cool. 20k souls. None too shabby. None too shabby. Ring a ding 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 dong. Ring the bell, which will open Sin's Fortress. Um, Bells of Awakening, lore reasons. Yeah, see, last time I fought her, I did have. Uh, I already had um, Power Within, so that's the difference. Alright, normally you'd go that way, but we're gonna go right here. Get this bonfire. Uh huh. All right, you're all about to, you're all going to hate me, but it's okay. You'll get over it. Thanks for the stuff. Bye. You monster. <laughs> Bye. Don't need her. No, I will not be saving... Solaire on this playthrough, unfortunately. I will murder him. Unless I get, um... Oh, what's the poison fog or whatever? Whatever that pyromancy is, I can do that. That's a thing that could happen. But I, I just don't feel like it. Plus, you can still warp to that bonfire, so it's not like it even matters. Alright, let's kill Ceaseless. And, uh... Be done with this area for now. Get that long run all the way back to the surface after this, which would be great. Go ahead and get our fourth after, uh... Yeah, we'll be at plus four Estus Flask, and so every flask will be a full heal. Once we get out of, out of here. So this boss fight, I think, is very interesting because it's... It's actually a very difficult fight if you play it the quote-unquote, like, legit way to do it. Um, that doesn't mean that this is a, a glitch or a cheese or anything because it, it is technically, it's programmed in and it is definitely an acceptable way to beat this boss and probably the best way, obviously, but, um, anyway, the story goes that this whole area is, has a bunch of lava because this man, um, got corrupted with chaos. He's like belching lava out, which is not great. And so, uh. We need to kill him to drop the lava field to where we can progress down that way. And, 
Yeah, but he actually does not trigger because he's guarding his sister's remains over here. Once you steal her clothes, he triggers into a fight. If you fight him straight on, it's very difficult because you can't actually get to him. He has to attack, and then you hit his arm while he's there, but his attacks are very strong and very hard to dodge. So you will see there's a cheese, a method in which to kill him, which does not involve anything actually difficult. We will pull that off today. Well, this doesn't kill me on, like, the run back, because he's done that before, too, which was just a real, a real deuce and a half. Um, so, what you can't see is that he's chasing me. Whew, that was close. So that could have killed me. That would have one-shot me. That attack. But if you have some decent stamina, and you just run for your little life, all the way back to the fog gate, which you came into. All the way back. All the way back. Him and his infinite anger will chase you. But there's a chasm right here. Like a real deep chasm. See, there's a, there's a drop off right there. But he wants you so bad. So bad. He jumps after you. And then you just go, Hey, stop it, meanie. Stop it. Stop it, meanie. Stop it. You you get off of there. You get down, young man. And then he falls off to his death. Bye. Down the cabin. And that's a free, like, I don't know, 20k souls or something. And cutscene, and yeah. Give me the souls. Yep. Free 20k souls. We've already killed two of his sisters. We robbed the clothes off the other sister. There's only... I think there's two sisters still alive. One is an NPC and one you actually fight later. But, uh... Oh, wait. Level up. Pony up. Um, what am I doing? Endurance. And then what we'll do next is we'll go back to Firelink. We'll get our Pyromancy Glove. Then we'll go to Andre the Blacksmith. We'll get our upgraded weapon. And then we'll head into Sen's Fortress. And um, that'll be the real first test of my ability. Because Sen's Fortress, no matter what, is not easy. Um, I do extremely large amount of damage. But from Sen's Fortress on, all of the enemies do an extremely large amount of damage as well. Um, and Sin's Fortress is just a real cesspit anyway, because it's full of traps and swinging pendulums of death and things that really is just, a, it's just the game's way of being like, hey, screw you, player. Um, so, if you've ever played, uh, the RuneScape Agility course, it's, it's that. <laughs> Alright, so let us... We're going to grab this bonfire here because uh, I want... There's another Firekeeper Soul here we're going to grab. And uh, I want it. I want it. And we have to... We may... We may die to this. It's not real sure. So this is another one of those where I'm taking a... A bit of a risk, you know. Oh dear, don't fall off. Thanks. How are we doing on time? We'll we'll get back to Firelink, and I think we'll call it, or at least back to uh, Andre before we. And we'll do uh, Sin's Fortress next episode. Probably what we're looking at, Sin's Fortress, and start on Anolando. Oh, I guess we need to. Uh, I guess we can go back to the asylum too and get the uh, the key where you can just go to Animal World and go straight into Painting World. Let's do that. We'll do that. That's a pretty good uh, route, if I say so myself. Nope. Is it? It's not this level. It's the next level up. Okay. Get out of here, mosquito! Get out of here! See if I can do this. Oh, he's still alive. See, he was just gone that one time. Oh, he fell down. That's right. I forgot. He fell down. Oh, see, I'm toxic. That's not... That's like a death sentence, basically. So, um, you see my health is dropping rapidly. Alright. 
Let me heal, please. Thanks. Alright, die dog. Firekeeper soul. Alright, I do have some blooming purple moss, so if I can get out of here without these dogs murdering me, um, I can undo the toxic. I may literally die on this ladder. I may literally die on this ladder. Oh, please. Ha <laughs> ha! Not today, heathens! Polite. Perfect. We live to fight another day. Got our Firekeeper Soul. Head back to Firelink. I guess what we'll do is we will uh, we'll head back to Firelink. We'll get our Power Within glove. We'll get our upgraded weapon, and then we'll head to. Uh, we'll do. We'll do uh, Asylum before we do Sin's Fortress. How about that? Get some more free, easy souls. That way when we get back to... When we get to Anlondo, we can go straight into the painting and do the painting world first. Go ahead and knock that out of the way. While we're there. And, uh... it would be a nice... Even flow... But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy watching this. I enjoy playing it. Uh, I played it yesterday and I was very much considering recording yesterday. And I probably should have for the yearly run of Dark Souls. But I was like, I, I'm doing it for, I was doing it for me yesterday. Because um, that's what I cared about. I was like, I want to play this for me. I want to, uh, you know. Um, oh, hello, soul. I forgot about you. Uh, I want to... I also, like, was watching... I was watching a football game during part of it. Uh, we had some football on. And then... I watched a bunch of YouTube and Dimension 20 after that. So I was... I like to watch content while I play. I always have multiple screens up. I always like to keep YouTube on one of them. Watching something. And that's what I would be doing right now if I weren't recording. And yeah. So. Alright, we'll go ahead and reinforce our flask. Plus four is where we'll stay for the rest of the run, I believe. We might... I might get to... No, we will get to plus five. We'll get to plus five. Uh, plus five will be our, our tap out for this playthrough, which is all we need anyway. So, I'm not... Well, I'll take that back. Okay, I'm not going to level right now. I'm going to get the glove from this man. Oh, whoops. Oh, you're such a pain. It's no, and then if you miss it, it's yes the next time. Yeah, wonderful. The pyromancy flame. And see, so he's got some stuff, which we don't need any of that. So that's fine. Um, he can, we can't upgrade our glove with him, but, um, let me go level the weapon first, and then we will mess with that. Uh, yeah. Alright, cool. Nice elevator. Smiling and beautiful music. Pardon. Alright, cool. See ya. I'm going to go down here and I will um, level my weapon. Probably plus... Definitely plus six, maybe plus seven, depending on how many uh, large Titanite I have. I don't think I have, but perhaps a couple. So we won't be able to do much. So we will do what we can, which is all we can do in life, is what we can. Hello again. Yes, give large ember. Absolutely. Modify equipment. Let's go to plus six. Uh, can I get a plus seven? No, we're... Yeah, we only had the one. Okay, so... While we're here, let's go ahead and purchase the... 
armor smith box just because I don't need anything else. Uh, repair while we're here. All right, cool. We'll use the rest of this to upgrade our pyromancy flame to probably you know, plus four or something. And uh, then we'll head to the asylum and grab uh, some stuff there, get some free souls and things. And yeah, so anyway, sorry the, the last piece of this episode has been a little slower, but we're just kind of getting stuff to round out our build with. Um, again, we're already at, ma at our maximum dexterity, so now our damage increase comes from le uh, weapon leveling. And I'll show you in just a second. So we went from plus 5 to plus uh, 6, when now we're, we went from 230 to, to sorry, 220 to 239. So we are at real good attack. Um, real good. So I like it. I like it a lot. We'll go ahead and get our Pyromancy Glove upgraded. We gotta put that on too. We need his right hand. And oh, actually, you. I don't care about your about your lady. I really don't. I don't care. I don't care. I do want his Thorland talisman, uh, which I will use later. Go ahead and stick this here. Do 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 do. Nice. Alright, cool, 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 beans. Let us attune. Power within. And we'll stop this episode right there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Well, I'll take it back. We've got seven minutes left on this hour recording. Let's go do Asylum real quick. It won't take just a minute. Let's just go do it. Let's go do it. Let's do it, girls. Get it. Let's go, girls. It won't take me just a minute. I'll end the episode on something worth watching. Boop, boop, a doo. All right, we'll hop off right here. We'll go over here. And hello. You. Do 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 And we'll curl up like a ball. And I'll take a sweet swag of some juicy juice. It's not, it's Mountain Dew, but still. I am highly caffeinated to play Dark Souls because your reactions must be like lightning. Or else you die. Alright, then a bird, bird picks us up, for whatever reason, and brings us back to the asylum. Oh yes, this place again, huh? But now there are friendly folk with pitchforks. Well, they're, they're not, they're torches and stuff. Pardon you. Um, if you recall, on One in the Darkness, I actually began the series in this... Well, sorry, second episode. It was actually this area. So that's cool. Hey, get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and touch this bonfire just because there is always a chance that I can die. The every time I'm like, no, I won't die, then I get wrecked by the boss. And it's not ideal. So, especially low health, low health Alec here. Uh, not going to take any chances, really. All right. Power within. Let me, 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 let me learn you something on this. Uh... Uh, short strength endurance boost but lose HP so excessive power eats away the life force of its caster and like all danger spells blah 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 alright so it boosts your attack power by quite substantially uh, as well as your endurance and things however um, it also slowly eats away your health so on a low health build it's a little scary but it's not terrible because again every SS flask is a full heal so I've got 20 of them as so long as I don't get hit, I'm fine. Boop. Hiya! Of course, this fight sucks you at half health anyway because it's just not polite. 
be honest. But Power Within is going to make this fight more or less a joke. Other than this stupid AoE BS. I hate the AoE. Yes, do the butt slam repeatedly. This is the best cheese thing ever because you just didn't even hit him in the belly. And he just does it over and over again. Like, it's so good. This fight used to be one of my hardest because the AoE thing is just awful. But I figured out you can just sit here and make him just... He'll just, whatever reason, he'll just do this, this butt slam thing over and over again if you stay in front. As long as you don't walk up like I just didn't get um, staggered. It's the best. Because he actually takes more damage in the belly. So. Easy fight is easy. And gives us a Titanite Slab. Which is what you have to use to get a weapon to plus 15. You only get two in a game. So uh, we get one here and then one in the DLC. Plus 20k souls, because of course. And now we're going to absolutely murder this man. Because he looked at me funny. Power Within is nothing to be even trifled with, sir. He's not letting me get behind him at all, which is really impolite on his part. Alright, I'll heal. He'll run at me. I'll dodge. And I will backstab him. Almost killed him with that. I'll Power Within War off. Unfortunate. Alright. He'll give me a chunk. Actually, he gives me a Red Titanite. That's lame. Peculiar Doll. Thanks. Peculiar Doll is what you have to have in order to enter the Painted World. Fun fact for you. Uh, the Painted World is not... It was actually in the original game, I believe. It was not DLC. DLC is all of the uh, other stuff later. The Painted World is a very interesting um, thing. I don't know whoever discovered that, like... I guess they just picked it up and then realized that, hey, having this in your inventory is, like, what allows that to happen. It's very strange, but um, I love it. Painted World, I wouldn't go there at all because there's nothing that I want or need or anything in life. Um, however, there is a boss fight, and there is an NPC invasion that gives you, like, 30k souls. And so I will, I will simp for souls, man. I will absolutely. Um, plus, she's, like, the... Uh, biggest waifu in the game, I think. Uh, but we'll, we'll wreck her just to show you how, how strong we've got. We'll take her down. Real, real good. Alright. So with that, guys, now I'll end the episode. Um, I will come back here and do a little bit of leveling and things. And we'll meet you back at Sin's Fortress. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and comment down below what your favorite part was. Of course, I've done a lots of other videos and things. Oh dear, don't die. Okay. And so uh, check out those as well. Thanks, guys. See you later.